I mean, we don't gotta f on the first date, but like, if I'm having fun. No, and I'm like, saying if you do, are you going like multiple rounds, or are you just? Wouldn't you like to know your little freak ass? You want me so fucking bad, bro. Like, let's just tell the camera. You want me? I can't say it out loud. I'm under NDA. Oh, from who? Hey, hey, hey y'all. It's your girl, Fanita. I got a podcast. The show before the club. This is where we sit, chat, talk, and we drink. B bottoms up, bitch. Anyway, welcome back to another episode of Bottoms Up with Fanita. It's the pregame before the club. And today, we are getting straight to the game. So today we're gonna talk about dating in the public eye. I have a very popular guest. His name is Vinny Hacker. Maybe you heard of him, maybe you don't. If you live on our fucking rock, you haven't. But I, I think it's hard for me dating because it's hard dating people that already know you. You know what I mean? It's like if you meet somebody at a bar and they know every single thing about you or it's accessible for them to get information about you just by knowing like your first name. And I feel like because of that reason, it's hard to like establish trust and it's hard to like build trust because you never know especially in like the influencer world and like just the things that we do it's hard to figure out why people want to get close to you or why they want to be in your inner circle or why they want to even talk to you to begin with and a lot of people and what we do have ulterior motives so I think that's why I don't be dating like that and also I feel like boys are intimidated by me I feel like when you're a woman and you're a strong woman and you're an independent woman and you don't need anything like I feel like men only like they like women that they can do stuff for and so when you're a woman that has your own shit like men are intimidated by that because they don't bring shit to the table you know what I mean so I feel like that's why men are intimidated by me um but I'm very nice and sexy and if you're hot and have money and like are six one uh with tattoos and you're wearing a blue baseball cap uh please call me so y'all know how I've been lying about having Noah back for like eight episodes well, I need lie no further because I have the love of my life on the show today. And speaking of gaming, he is huge on Twitch and he even makes my coochie Twitch. And he's sexy, he's stunning. You may have seen him do something like this before. I dabble. Please don't speak. I want to. Okay. Uh, it's Vinny Hacker! <laughs> Vinny, Vinny. But I call him Vincent because we're on a personal level. Vincent, how are you? I'm fantastic. How are you? <laughs> Thanks for asking. I'm um, so happy to be here. I actually have a confession to make. So you see all the cameras and all the people behind the cameras and the people in the studio today. This actually <laughs> isn't a podcast episode. I it's set you up. Yep, it's a porno. It's a porno. This is actually a casting couch. Um, it's me and you. And we're just going to see how the conversation flows. And then we're going to get straight to it at the end. Okay. Have you ever done anything like that? Like adult film? Twice. That's more than I expected you to say. Um, love that. Yesterday. <laughs> Ooh, with who? Wait, what? What the? F we're together. All right. So, Vinny, you're a very popular internet sensation. You have a a fucking brothel of whores that are in love with you, <laughs> or young ladies. Brothel. Um, brothel. it's a lot of women love you, Vinny. Does that ever get overwhelming for you? Uh, I mean, I guess online, but. In prayer. I'm I'm at my house most of the time just playing video games. You you so. be secluded? Yeah. Give me your hand, Vinny. Give me your hand. I'm so happy you're here. Thank you. You're really I'm funny. You know, y'all be surprised because I feel like there's a misconception about pretty boys such as Vinny that they have no personality, they're boring as fuck, they're probably evil and manipulative, and just all around bad people. However, Vinny beats the statistics. He's actually a great guy. When I first met Vinny, I'll tell you guys how we met. Um, we met literally two weeks ago. Um, mm -hmm. Vinny was walking outside of a house that I was going into, and I was like, oh, my God, hey, Vinny. Like, I knew Vinny on a personal level, but I didn't. But I act like that with everybody. And then I just started talking to Vinny. And then um, now we're here. It, it was pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah. No, it was a quick turnaround. Yeah. And I'm on the podcast. Yeah. And now I'm You look sexy as ever. You look so good in, like, good lighting. I only see you in the dark. Thank you. I mean, you're sexy then, too, but too nice to me would you say that you're sexier than noah beck <laughs> <laughs> no that dude that dude's got some big pecs i don't know big peck beck big mm. dick peck peck big peck 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 that deck somebody big give deck, her a peck. beat big 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 dick peck peck yeah. Oh, Vinny, before we start and hop on to the segment, I want to play a game first. Just to, okay. like, loosen us up and get to know each other a little bit more. We're yeah. going to play Smash or Pass. All right. Uh, Movie Magic, bring me my bowls. I have the same bowl. All right, Vinny, you can go first. Smash or Pass. So I just pull one? Yeah, yeah, pull one. Need a baby. Oh, shit. Who put my name? Who put my name in the bowl, guys? I mean, Smash or Pass, though? Smash. <laughs> yes. Um, 
Okay, I have Josh Morris. I don't know who this is, but I'm a slut, so I'm gonna I'm a, say. I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a show you. Oh, okay. Yeah, the dude on the top. I've seen him before. He has the big ass. And he makes videos and like yeah, the cowboy shit. He had the orange suit. Uh, I was suck. I was suck Josh's dick. I don't know if I'd smash though. It's gas. All right, cool. Your turn. Oh, same one. Uh, oh no, I guess me twice. <laughs> Oh, it's who hard. is it? What does it say? Fanita. Oh, who keeps putting my name in the vault, guys? I mean, smash or pass those. I'll, I'll smash. Okay, okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, I have um, I have Jack Wright. I think Jack Wright is very, very, very adorable. I would smash Jack Wright. <laughs> okay, I wonder who's gonna be in this ball. <laughs> hey man, I, the I, girl I, I, on my hey, right. Who, who's that? The girl on your right. The f is that me? Pass. All right, cut the fucking cameras off. <laughs> Yep. Speaking of talking about sex and having sex with me and mm -hmm. how in love with me you are and how enamored you are by me, yep. do you think because of your popularity it's easy and sex is very accessible for you? Yeah. If I if I were to go out and like actually like that was like the first thing on my mind and I try to do it, yeah. <laughs> Cause you, have you ever fucked a fan? No. Would you? No. Yeah, they would. No. Can, can, if I fucked Vinny, I would tell everybody. Like, <laughs> can't trust you bitches to do it. Mm -mm. I would tell. And I would scream it from the rooftops. What? <laughs> Go on top of a parking garage in the middle of LA and just start screaming it. Yeah, I'd be like, I right. Vinny Hacker. Like, come on. That'd be the most, that'd be one of the most incredible things that's ever happened to me in my life. Okay. Okay. Let's, let me set the scene. Set it. Let's see, let's say you meet the girl of your fucking dreams. Mm. Like, she's a baddie. She's smart. Mm. She games. She gets her fingernails dirty. I know you like big titty bitches that work on cars. I know mm. that's like something that you like indulge in. She watches anime. She's your dream girl, mm. right? Mm -hmm. She just happens to know who you are, though. Like, is she, like, she knows you, but she's not a groupie. Okay. Like me. That's fine. Okay, so you, you would date me. You be working on cars and shit? Yeah. Okay. I know about, like, transmissions and stuff. All right. And, like, I know there's batteries in cars. Alternators. That's that you have to know. Because spark plugs. Um, actually, bumper. A lot of people don't know what spark plugs are. I'm telling you, I'm very, I know, like, uh, when I was, when I was uh, 19 years old, my first car was a 1975 uh, red Mustang convertible. Okay. Yeah. Okay, 1975. <laughs> yeah. Did that thing drive for longer than a for Yeah, like I worked on it. I worked on it. Uh, I was up in um, Nantucket with it, and I worked on it all summer long, and then <laughs> I got it to... I got it. <laughs> yeah, I worked on it all summer long. I know this like... <laughs> yeah, so... I work on cars and stuff, and I actually, I actually right now I'm working on a like a 1999 Bug convertible. You ever seen that movie with Lindsay Lohan? You know which one I'm talking about. Y'all know the Bug movie? Kirby, yeah. What's your favorite movie, Vinny? Black Panther. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Just y'all know that Vinny's favorite movie. He actually hates Black Panther. He told me. He walked in no. and said Wakanda Forever. No. What? And then walked away. I don't know what the f that was about. <laughs> what? Okay. What's your favorite movie? I don't. I just love the Star Wars franchise. Any Star Wars. Really? Movie, I've know? never seen a Star Wars movie. I've also never seen any of the Harry Potter movies all the way through. I mean, that's whatever. I, I wasn't huge on Harry Potter either. But, but... you're huge on Star Wars. Mm -hmm. You want to be different so fucking bad. Just no, be hot. Just... Don't try to have character no. and shit. No. Don't try to have no. depth. No. Just be sexy. Nobody cares that Vinny Hacker likes Star Wars. Take your shirt off. Give the people what they want. You know, your outfit reminds me of the movie Footloose. Footloose. <laughs> Get Foot loose. loose. Footloose. How does this remind you of Kick Footloose off. at all? Because I can see your socks in those shoes. Because you can see my socks? Yes. Vinny, just love me. Do you want me to take them off and like send you home with a pair? Why are you, you trying to get so fucking freaky with your fucking freak ass foot fetish? You're freaky as fuck, Vincent. This is a wholesome network friendly podcast i don't want to see your fucking feet what's the freakiest thing you've ever done <laughs> <laughs> come on give me the tea Vinny. come on you, you know uh, i need the scoop probably doing it while skydiving <gasps> have you done that yep midair you're fucking lying yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wait, can you Vinny. imagine that though imagine uh, jumping wait, wait, out wait. of a plane right you but got I your i feel like i feel like one you'd have to be because you know you can't skydive without the instructor right yeah, well, that's so why. So you'd have okay, to become so an instructor yeah, first. Yeah, because I would have to be the on the back. Because then the instructor would have hit you from the back. Mm, you're right. So you would have to become an instructor, therefore. Or, 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 hear me out. I'm reverse, so I'm like. Facing? So like, facing. <laughs> the instructor? 
Yeah. Are you the instructor in this? What? Yeah, no, no. I'm saying no, no. I'm. Let's say I'm not the instructor. Right? Okay. And I'm, f I'm just facing it. So in instead, order of, to instead of, I feel like in order to f the girl skydiving, you got to become an instructor, though. Yeah, that's true. That that would probably make the most sense. Why would that not be the first thought? Did you let the well, instructor I'm just hit thinking you in the back? Well, you said you said freakiest thing, so I think that's more freaky than doing it, you know, skydiving the normal way. All right, let's move on. Now let's take a quick break to hear a word from our sponsors today at Caraway. Are you guys like me? When you're starting to feel sick, do you start Googling all of your symptoms and low-key start freaking out about what it could be without getting any real verification? Oops, hate to break it to you, but there's a better way. Caraway is the all-in-one app to get the healthcare that you need. Their app is super easy to use and offers physical, mental, and reproductive healthcare tailored to fit your needs. With Caraway, you get unlimited 24-7 access to an experienced care team of doctors, therapists, gynecologists, nurses, health advisors, and more. Caraway can help manage all of your healthcare needs, like getting medicine when you're sick, treating depression, or refilling your birth control. Mm. Memberships start at less than $25 a month. I repeat, less than $25 a month. And all the care you get from Caraway is covered by your membership fees, including therapy. Can you believe that? With Caraway, your healthcare is all integrated into one place. Right now, Caraway is offering new members 30 days completely free. If you go to caraway.health slash bottoms up, there's no credit card required to try it. Get free and unlimited access to chat with their care team for 30 days. That's C-A-R-A-W-A-Y dot health slash bottoms up for 30 days completely free caraway is available in select states go to caraway.health slash bottoms up to learn more Vinny, do you find it hard to date yeah what aspects yep. about dating are hard now uh well i mean okay this might sound a little bit pretentious but listen like, i'm all ears babe i'll listen to you talk about honestly seriously like especially in california in la specifically it's hard finding someone like that doesn't like have a sense of who i am Mm. especially like if I'm going out to like a bar or like a club or anywhere to drink. Everybody knows it's Vinny. Yeah. Yeah. That's so sad. Like, but I mean, no matter what. But I feel like everybody though, like no matter what girl you meet, even if she's a, if she's a, she's a bold faced fucking liar, she acts like she doesn't know who the fuck you are. So I feel like it's hard because you have so much popularity now. Like, I feel like it's hard to meet somebody that doesn't know who you are unless she's from like Slovakia or something. Yeah. And or you'll never, you'll, you like won't be able to know for at least for at least like a good amount of time if they actually f with you or not. Yep. So it's like they could be totally putting on a front. Because like, I remember I met people and then like three or four months after they've inf infiltrated like my friend circle, mm -hmm. I've been like, yeah, I knew who you were when I met you. Mm. It's like, hmm, that makes me scared. Yeah, <laughs> that shit scares the f out of me. That scares me. Like I've actually had like multiple instances where I become friends with somebody that act like they don't know me, and then like I'll go to like send them like something on Instagram like. Like a like mm -hmm. a meme or some shit, and then I'll see like a message from like 2021, and I'm like, ah, oh, damn, caught mm, red handed. Mm. Was I in your DMs? I don't think I was. I never mm. follow Vinny. Here's the thing: I've known about Vinny since everybody knew about Vinny, but I never follow Vinny because I don't follow anybody first. But I made a video about Vinny in like 2021, and I you never you never acknowledged it. I acknowledge it. I called you my Personally, last privately. Ugh, that's so fucking hot. I called you my last Infinity Stone. Oh. Who were the first? Infinity Don't worry Stones? about it, man. No, I want to. I need to know this because I need to ask you some questions. <laughs> what do you want to ask me, Vinny? You can that ask me anything. That exact question. I. So here's the thing about me. Here's here's how I feel like is I. Is Noah back one of those Infinity Stones? What me and Noah have is none of your business, personally. It is. It's not. It's, not, it's, it's one not. of my boys. I don't. I don't so, tell Noah about what we do. How about that? How about how about we tell Noah what we do? Okay then. I feel like I'm the type of person that. I am so amazing and so sexy and stunning. Mm -hmm, yeah. And and there's enough of me to go around. I feel like, let me speak, let me say mm -hmm, this. Yeah. I feel like it's a disservice to myself and to the community around me if I'm not shared. You know what I mean? I feel You're like so everybody humble. should be, exactly. I feel like everybody should get a taste of Fanita. You know what I'm saying? What does Fanita mm. taste like? Honeysuckle and lavender or a Dave's hot chicken sandwich? We don't know. But what I do know is everybody deserves to be around me and deserves to date me and deserves to be with me. I'm serving a purpose. I'm serving the community. I'm actually mm. damn near a fucking philanthropist. Okay. I I should be able to put that on my taxes. Oh, shit. Yeah. Vinny, what's your type? What do you look for in a partner? Like, am I your type? Of course. He's saying that for the camera. He hesitated. Go ahead. Anyway, what's your type? You. Oh, I'm not. She's eating that up. <laughs> Sorry, you. Yeah. I'll eat you up. And <laughs> <laughs> he didn't find that too funny. But what's her type for real? Like, what do you look for in a woman? What do you like? Mm. 
I don't know. Well, actually, I just got into rock climbing recently. So if somebody wants to go rock climbing, I'll with rock me, climb with you. All right, perfect. No, like you legitimately though. Honestly, I would actually really somebody go. That, okay. Somebody that games would be super sick. Because with how much I play video games, like I don't play video games. See, that's a problem. We can work on that. We I've like only played GTA, but I only play on it. That. I only play it to like drive around a car though. I mean, I play it just driving but a car around. But that ass though, people. I did used to rock climb in college, like my freshman year, because we had a rock climbing wall in my. Um, it's fun. Yeah, it was actually rock climbing is really fun. It's fun as hell. Vinny, let me go rock climb with you for real, please. Come. Honestly, it it would be just so sick if somebody like. If I found somebody that played video games, because I I play video games like, I mean, one, it's like one of my jobs. Mm -hmm. And also, but I don't feel, it doesn't feel like a job yeah. when I stream. Because it's fun. Thankfully, because it's fun and I enjoy doing it. But like, you know, I'll stream like eight hours a day. And then like, it'd be cool if I had somebody to play with during those eight yeah. hours I'm streaming. Yeah. What's your ideal first date? Um, Something like this, perhaps? Yeah, a podcast with, <laughs> with, a, with an audience staring yeah. at me. Just really just, turns me on. Yeah, I'm like half chub right now. Oh, mm. mm. we're gonna so get into good. that later. <laughs> oh God. Tell me what it's like to live in Vinnie Hacker's moccasins for the day. Hmm. Well, I wake up, I work out, probably play video games for a few hours, hop off, go rock climbing, maybe work on the cars, uh, throw my phone up in the air, take my shirt off, bite my lip post mm -hmm. um and then do that maybe two more times do you cook just put it right to my dress i do but not like you're not good I'm cooking. very you're not I, you're not a good cook just say that no you're just not a good cook i'm a good cook you're not a good cook i'm a good cook at what i cook what did you what do you cook what's your signature dish uh i love ribs you mean just be casually making ribs yeah i make ribs with my dad all the time oh Mm. I will trust that because, like, white men and grill, handshake emoji. They be going crazy on the grill. You just say handshake emoji out loud. Yeah, I did. It's comedic. You don't know it. You don't, you don't know comedy, Vinny. Right. Just shut up and smile and do what you do best. You're right. Shut the fuck up. We all know that I turn Vinny on. Let's figure out what else turns it on in our next game called Turn Ons and Turn Offs. You can go first. Okay. Butt stuff. <laughs> He loves butt stuff. I love butt stuff. I can't get Somebody butt point stuff. me to the best ass eater. Um, That's me, by the way. Uh, I don't really, I'm not too fond of butt stuff. I like getting my butt ate, but I don't like getting it like played with. I'll too eat butt. Much. For real? Have I'll you ever eat eaten butt. butt? Always. I always eat butt. Are you being so serious? Are you Yeah, around? I'm hella flexible. Oh, you eat your own butt. <gasps> if you could suck your own dick, would you? I'd say I'd try. You're a freak ass little. <laughs> Anyways. Well, okay, but like. I feel like I feel like any guy if they were if they No, I've asked I've asked if, multiple guys this question, they've all said yes. Yeah. But I don't know, this is like <laughs> I wouldn't eat my own pussy if I could. Why not? Because you I try wanna, it? <laughs> no, I don't wanna try it. I don't wanna like I don't know, you that's like explore, but so you if never I know what clone, you like until you do if it. If I had a clone, I'd f my clone. So how They make sense. Cause I'd f myself because I'm gorgeous, but like I wouldn't okay. can, you, like, can you imagine somebody walking into my room and I'm fing <laughs> eat my own pussy like that's what? fucking crazy you do you not have a lock on your no, door like, no or? no no the thought of going through the motions to eat my own vagina is just crazy the imagery is crazy the, how flexible I'd have to be is crazy the thought of somebody just like like if that I'm that insane. horny I'm eating my own pussy we have bigger fish to fry I need to go to like like sex sexaholics anonymous or some shit if I'm in go to my a sex room party. Have you ever been to a sex party? No. I want to go to one. Somebody asked me that question a week ago. Would you ever go like to one? Like a random ass person. Wait, I was, who, I was who, out. Who the fuck asked I'm not even that? joking. Like, they, okay, so they met me for the first time and they were just like, like, oh, you're Vinny, right? I was like, yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. We were talking and having a little like small talk out of nowhere. <laughs> he's like, he's like, so like I hear like all about like these celebrities going out and like doing this thing where they, they all meet up and he was like not get into the actual <laughs> yeah. question. I was like, what are you talking about? He's like, you talking about a premiere? sex party? I was like, no. no. Would you ever go to one though? No. Really? I would. See, that but I would just people, go to watch though. That many people seeing me butt ass But naked? you don't gotta participate. Sometimes you just watch. Why would I want to do that? Vinny, you so real. That is real as fuck. Why go to a sex party if you ain't about to fuck none? All right, my turn. Um, wearing sandals to the bar. I'm a girl, so I don't think mm. that's a turn off. It, it is a turn off if you're a man, though. Sorry, I'm okay, sexist. Well, okay, all sandals are like, like, cause you know, like the like the Burks that have like they cover the toe. Yeah, you know what I'm saying those are ugly as f to me, but yeah. But they're comfy. 
So you wear those? I wear them around the house. Don't ever come around me in in, in the house. house. Okay. All right. Damn. Just go. Wait, is it turn on or turn off for you? It's it doesn't matter. You like seeing girls' feet. He has a feet fetish. That's a foot fetish. She's making shit up. He likes when um hooking up on the first date. Um, turn off. Really? Know? What if y'all I mean, really it, vibe? Well, it, dep it depends on the situation. If I'm looking just for like a hookup, yeah. then it's like then it's Fine. whatever. Yeah. But if I'm like, if we go on a date. And then I'm trying to pursue another day afterwards. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and I let them know that ahead of time. You know, it's like I don't. Yeah. You heard it here first. Vincent is a gentleman. That's so cute. What's the last time you've been on a date? Oh my god. Same. We should go on one. Refresh each other's memories. Oh, a year ago. We should practice. Okay. Get a little practice in. Wait, did I ask you what your ideal dream date was? Right. I don't know. I haven't been on a lot of dates. I really don't know. I've only that. been on one single date my whole life. Really? Yeah, it was fucking horrible. How long ago? <laughs> it was like three years ago. It was, he was like he was like twenty nine. I was twenty. Yeah, you know. Hey, man, I was broke. I wouldn't even. He was paying. Okay, he was paying okay. for shit. Okay. But okay. like the date wasn't. I mean, it was cool. I, just, I genuinely don't know what like my ideal first like first date would be because you know what mine is. What? I'll tell you because I like talking about my ideal first date. All right. So my ideal first date, the man that I go on the date with, he has to have a truck. Uh, the date involves a truck. Okay. Do you have a truck? <laughs> nope. Okay. All right. Anyways, so he has to have a truck. So I want to go to like, well, now I live in LA, so I don't know how it's going to work. Maybe go to the beach, maybe. Um, but beforehand, I wanted to go to like an open field and like bring like our computers or like an iPad and then like put like pillows and blankets in the back of the truck and then like be outside under the stars mm. and okay, then cool. hotspot like the iPad and the computer and then like watch movies in the bed of the truck and then like maybe like drink some wine, have some like snacks and stuff and then it's like super one on one. Or if I'm doing like luxury living first date, I want to go to like a really expensive restaurant like STK or something and then maybe go see a show because I like uh, theater. So I like mm. theater shows or something like that. That'd be nice uh and then like maybe go to like a lookout and like talk and f uh you know unlike vincent i like f on the first date um uh, so you guys can definitely f me if you take me out and then if i'm doing like uh like a fun super active first date i want to do like um like an arcade or like some kind of competition type thing and then you gotta f after that yeah, and then get food or whatever. What's don't try to shame me because I'm no, like I'm, I'm, not, I'm saying I'm saying Vinny, like are you going are you going Vinny, round two Vinny, on the first date also like is it just like I mean we don't gotta f on the first date but like if I'm having fun no, and I'm like, saying if you do are you going like multiple rounds or are you just wouldn't you like to know your little freak ass you yes, want me so fucking bad bro like let's just tell the camera you want me I can't say it out loud I'm under NDA oh from who I don't know y'all made him sign the NDA I, I, no I just lied to you. <laughs> Vinny, just say that you f***ing want me. You're so right. Um, but so yeah, right. I definitely, I've, I also haven't been on that many dates, so I haven't f***ed on that many first dates. But I don't know. I'm a connection type of person. If I'm feeling the vibe, also, I'm a firm believer that it doesn't matter if you have sex the first date or the fifth date. If the, the guy don't like you, he don't f***ing like you regardless of when you f*** him. Mm. Um, but he clearly thinks there's something to wait for. So, But that's respectable. I like that. I like that. No, Vinny, I'm not shaming you. That's good. Most guys aren't like that. Most guys for sure like to have sex on the first date, but that's nice that you like to like get to know the... Are you a person that has to have an emotional connection to have sex with somebody? No. I love that because I don't either. I don't even need to know your name. I can't remember half the names. That, okay, but... What? I thought this was a safe space. My fault. No, it go is. Ahead. No, go no, ahead, it is. No, no, it, just, it just took me back. No, Vincent, go ahead. I, I just... But Vincent, a also like... for a second. Sometimes... I used to be a hoe. I don't know how else to explain it. Why did you take a shot of that like it was vodka? That's Gatorade. That is blue Gatorade. You just took a swig blue, of it. That's blue, that's blue Gatorade. That's blue, ah. that's blue Gatorade. All right. Body hair. What about it? Is it turn on or turn off? I mean, I, I would say I don't like mind it either way. I don't care if it's... So you would eat a full bush out? Care. Oh, dap me up. That's real as f I just got a wax yesterday, though. That's so unfortunate, though. I learned this information today. So it's bald if you still want to, like, take a little taste of it. Your turn. Oh, this is a long one. Okay. Being on antidepressants, I'm talking about it. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> what? What the f question is? It says being on antidepressants and talking about it. Is that a turn on or a turn off for you, Vinny? How am I supposed I mean, to I know answer that? Is, Katie. <laughs> I feel like everyone's on antidepressants. Is that a turn? I, don't, I feel like I don't this think... shit comes stock with everybody now. Like, yeah, this is just, I don't. This is just I don't a... think that would turn me off. I don't really. I don't really care. Yeah, you're depressed. Depressed this coochie. I don't know. Golden shower. You like pissing on bitches? No. I don't know me either. Turn off. That was easy. Your turn. Give me that. What if a girl wanted you to pee on her, would you? No. 
Foot play, toe sucking, no. He loves that. Why no, are you lying? No, I don't. Yeah, why are you lying? Bro. I heard through no, the grapevine. You know who? Bro. I heard through the grapevine that you love what sucking grape toe. What grapevine? The vine is back here. This clear grapevine that is, is right behind bamboo. us. That is bamboo. This is a fake plant. None of this is real. This is a okay, set. So what are you? Okay, listen. All right. Anyway, you know, it's you, my right. term. Armpit licking, you freako. You ever licked? Let me get a word out. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Vinny. No, no, no. No, let this is your show. No, let me see You're what that. Let me, see, let me see what that shit says. I like that so much. Oh my god, I'm so. I'm so wet right now, guys. That's everything and more that I needed it to. Be. I'm not answering that question. I love. I love that he just yelled at me like that. Give me, give me that bowl. Yeah, you got it, daddy. Yes, sir. You ain't got to tell me twice. Wearing the other person's clothes. I'm, I'm yeah. a big body, so I don't, I don't think I can fit any of my man's clothes. I mean, I feel like. Can I have? Can I? Can I wear your clothes? Yeah. I could wear one of your shirts. Mm -hmm. That makes me happy. Of course. I'm so happy I'll bring that you're you a shirt here. Next time. Being called good girl or daddy. I don't know. Vinny, I would answer this wisely. I don't know if I like that at all. You don't like the daddy? I don't like no. calling other men daddy. I Mainly like because I have weird. a weird relationship with my father and it's kind of non existent. I feel like it's so weird. It is weird. I like I call all men like bae. I don't even like baby, to be honest. Baby's a little too much for me. Um, would I like being called good girl if I'm shoving my head down? Oh, you're such a good girl. Yeah, I would enjoy that. That'd be a turn on. Good to know. We're gonna get freaky tonight. Sex toys. Is that a turn on for you? Yup. You like watching girls use their toys on themselves? No. Yes. I like using it on myself. You have I'm a flashlight? I'm playing, no. Vinny, I'm learning so much about you, and I'm so... I was just like, <laughs> I'm in love with you, man. All right, last one. Forehead kisses, turn on. Turn on. Is it? Oh, yeah. I'll kiss your head, but not your forehead. Next segment. So, Vinny, you have a lot of people that want to know a lot of things about you, including myself. So now we're going to jump into Fanita's Fan Fiction, where we take you guys' call and we're going to give you advice. And I really hope Vinny gives good advice. Like he gives head, because his head is amazing. All right. Thank Do we have you. a caller on the line? So, how did you and Vinny Hacker become a couple? That's okay. My, my question. All right, cool. Nosy little bitch. Yeah. All right, you nosy little girl. Um, Babe, you can tell the story. All right, so basically what happened, you know, obviously we met at that, we met at that house. Um, mm -hmm. That house in the woods. Next day I woke up, and she was just there, and I was like, I was I was thinking about leaving, but then I was like, no, this is different. Went downstairs, made breakfast. Yeah. You know. Made pancakes. The whole thing. Mm -hmm. Pancakes. A lot of pancakes. Mm -hmm. Ate a lot of pancakes. Some he coffee. ate a lot of pancakes. Mm. Mm -mm. Um, but yeah, so like oh, like I said, we met at that party. Vinny was like, Oh my God, you're the most stunning girl I've ever met. And I'm like, Vinny, you say this to literally everyone. He's like, No, I do. But you're different. <laughs> and for some reason I believed him. And then <laughs> He was like, you want to go drink this Corona outside? And then I went out there, and there was an Uber, and he was like, get in it. And I'm not very responsible, so I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> so I got in it, and then we were at, like, at his house, and he was like, come inside. And I said, you want to come inside me? And he was like, no, come inside my house. I was like, oh, okay, hard of hearing. Um, anyway, so then I went inside his house, and then we like stayed up all night talking and like making friendship bracelets, and then... I think that night we just like understood that we had something so real and we made it official the night we met. I'm so happy to be together with you. We can answer the phone now. Mm, ring, ring. Wow. Somebody's ringing. Hello? So, hi. My name is Sarah and I'm from France. And I have one question for you. Mm. So, if you had to remove all your tattoos and only keep one, which one would it be and why? Oh, that's a good question. I love you guys. Bye. You don't love me, girl. You called all the way in for France to get a, get info about his tattoo. You don't love me. <sighs> I I, I know I, why you're here. I keep the spider on my son. The the um from the Hunter Hunter the Phantom no, Troop one. No, this one. Oh, I think it's a Phantom like, Troop one too. It's a staple. I, well, I I have a note. People think that the six for some for some reason people confuse the six on my back with um Phantom Troop mm -hmm. and the spider with Phantom Troop, but this is just a spider. Okay. And then the six on my back is from Bleach. What's the significance of the spider to you? Um, well, it kind of, it was like one of my first, like, I don't know, people just talked about it hella when I first got it. Because it's like, I mean, like people made fun of me, uh, made fun of me for being Spider-Man mm -hmm. and shit. And uh, I kind of owned uh, owned up to that. You can shoot your web at me. <laughs> that was so hot. 
Mm-mm. I'm so sorry. I don't like having hot men on my podcast. It distracts me from my comedic timing. I've just been lost in your eyes this whole time, and you kind of make me nervous. I've been She's sitting a here. Talker, listen to her. Stop it. I am. I wonder what you were like with Noah. Uh, me and Noah have a different connection. Yeah. Okay. All right. Anyways. No, it's fine. We're gonna move on. Yeah. No. Okay. Because yeah. Because at the same yeah, time, Minnie, you do no, your own no, shit move on. too. Move on. And no, no, you do. No, no. First of all, you're not gonna get loud with me. Ring, 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 ring. You're not gonna get loud with me because you get to fucking horn ring, 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 ring. Have bitches in your goddamn comments, but the minute I hang out with Noah, no, but the minute I hang out with Noah, you got a fucking issue. You're not about to do this shit. I told you to leave that shit at the fucking door. Ring, ring, ring. Don't worry about me and Noah. Answer the I'm phone. I'm answering the fucking phone, Vinny. Hello? Hi, my name is Megan. I just wanted to ask, what's the biggest thing that you all have overcome, and how has it affected you and shaped you as a person? Okay, I'll go first. Probably my dick. I was about to say that. Yeah, the I biggest you, thing I've I overcome is Vinny's that. penis. Um, Boom. how would Called I, it. Like, I walk a little funny now because of it, but aside from that, that right? like, aside from that, I, um, I mean, I get to where I have to go with using my legs, but sometimes, like, if I step the wrong way, like my legs shake and com- collapse and everything like that, because his penis is huge and stuff. Mm. What was the biggest thing you've ever had to overcome? Um, accepting the fact that my dick is small. Mm. Small dicks get sucked too. No, they don't. Yes, they do. I've sucked some small dicks. No, they don't. I remember one year, uh, one time I was visiting my friend. She's right there, the the white girl. You sucked her dick? No, she doesn't have a dick. She put on a strap on and then you sucked no. her dick. No, I, I have. <laughs> <laughs> But she did have a strap on and I did suck. Anyway, that's not what I was talking about. Vincent, sit down. Sit down, Vincent. That's not what I was talking about. But one year I was visiting her. It was my freshman year. She had a friend over. And she specifically told me not to hook up with this friend. But I do what I want. My skirt's gone done because Vinny's always using telepathy and undo my pants. Yeah, I can. But no, I just close just anyway, do that. So she had a friend and she was specifically told me not to hook up with this friend. But I don't didn't care. And like we um were in his truck. Sweet home Alabama. And his penis was small as fuck. I'm talking about like no bigger than my pinky. And I sat there and I jacked it off like a real woman. So Were you I going say like all this? that. Yeah. No, no bullshit. So I say all that to say that small dicks do get sucked. Oh yeah, that's so good. Yeah, thank all you. Alright, Vincent, you answer the phone. But I did suck that strap on like all the way to the base. Okay. Like I did a good job. Right. <laughs> ring, 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 ring. Hello. Hi, Vinny. What is your favorite go to movie or TV show to watch? When you're having a down day. A down day. Love you. We got a lot of we got a lot of uh, worldwide too. calls in today. France, the UK. What's your favorite movie, Vinny? Well, I have to say probably. Oh, f- that's actually turning me on. Keep going. <laughs> I'm almost there. Probably um, <laughs> Goodwill Hunting. You know, it's just a great movie. Um, now, Why do you sound I like Elton can, John? Because I am. I'm the freaking I'm Elton John. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> He's so hot. <laughs> no, I don't know. A comfort movie, probably like. Goodwill Hunting Bugs is a great Life. movie, though. Bugs Life. Bugs Life, I like that. But um, is, are we never gonna acknowledge that the 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 human lady was dating a bee? Are we just gonna ignore that fact of Bugs Life? That Wait, I'm thinking Bugs the bee Life. movie. That was My the fault. bee movie. <laughs> My fault. Bugs, Bugs Life is Life when is they. One with the ants. And yeah, shit. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it was two different. You know what my favorite insects. movie is what? Uh, what I don't is know it? if you guys ever seen it, but it's on TikTok and it's called at Vinny Hacker. Vinny, give me something, okay? I'm just pulling out all I'm, my I'm, fucking Okay, dick. listen, I'm trying. I'm trying to think of something. Give me a second. About, wait, wait. Wait, hold on. I'm waiting. Um, I do what I'm told. That was so hot of you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, uh, uh, uh. Vinny, you can continue to answer the phone. They're off. Right? <laughs> okay. Um, hi, guys. Uh-huh. Uh, first off, I just want to say just how like proud I am of all of you and how far you've gotten. I did also have a question for Vinny. Um, okay. I really enjoyed watching your base progress videos. Mm. It's amazing to see just how much you've improved um, over such a short period of time. It was like really impressive for me. And Thank I've you. listened to some of your music, and I, I really, really enjoy it. I love the vibes of it. And your song, Emotional High, has got me through a lot of late nights. Um, Aww. During college so kind. So thank you for that. Mm. And um, my question for you, um, Vinny, is... Um, do you see yourself being a serious musician in the future? Um, and it's okay if you don't. I'm just curious. And uh, that'll be all. Bye. Wait, you play the guitar? Bass. You play the bass? You know, I have something that kind of feels like a bass. 
My pussy. You can strum it. Zinger! Give it to me, guys! How? All right, babe. Just tell me about it. I've never heard your music. Can we play some of the no, videos? No, don't, please. Can somebody no, play some I, of Vinny's music on Spotify really quick? Don't do that. Don't no, 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 no. Do I want to hear it. Don't no, do that. no, no, no. Don't, do not somebody, do that. Somebody pull do up Vinny's up. I swear to fucking God, what are you gonna if you do? do that, I will fucking raise what you, hell. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I will raise hell. Ain't nobody scared of Vinny. I'm going to play the shit. Let's see. Vinny Hacker. All right, no more dick. Wait, no more dick? I'm putting the phone up. Okay. Yeah. Okay, daddy. Oh, wait. So, do you ever see yourself becoming a serious musician? Um. Well, if you mean like. If she means like serious as far as like going like, on tours and shit. Yeah, then no, probably not. Just because like I have so many other things that I'm more passionate about. I'm still passionate about music. Don't get me wrong, but mm -hmm. like I make it when I when I really feel like you know when I'm really feeling it. Mm -hmm. And then that's why it like takes so long for me to like put stuff out is because I'll only ever make music when I'm actually like in the mood to. Mm -hmm. I actually wrote you a song. Oh yeah. You want to hear it? Yep. I found a love for me, so darling, just dive right in and follow my lead, cause we were just kids when we fell in love. Oh, is this off the dome? Not knowing what it was, I want to give you up this time. Okay, that's good. I'm still working out the no, kinks, that's good, but that's good, that's good. um, yeah, I like write music sometimes. That's fire. Thank you. Was that off? Like, was that a freestyle? Yeah, it was. That's so good. Thank you. So good. You're so hot. I'm literally guess how guess how hard I am right now. Steel pipe. All right, last fan question. It's like obsidian. Hi, Sabina. I'm a really big fan. I hope I'm on the episode with Vinny Hacker because I love Vinny Hacker. Don't we all, babe? Um, my question to Vinny Hacker, Ashley, is um, I know that you're shy, but like... He's not, what though. What is your type in women? And Finita, same with you. What is your type? Okay, bye. I love you. Uh, you want to go first? I'll go first. You go mind. first. Um, my type, I genuinely... Uh, don't have a type. I just, I don't know. It's like whoever I find sexy. Like Vinny, does he fit the description of somebody that would be my type? Yes, but not for the reasons that you think. I like that. I like Vinny because he's taller than me. He has tattoos and he has a nice smile and he has nice lips. Uh, so things like that would be my type. I like. I have to have pretty teeth. I like straight teeth. I like nice lips. I like uh, mm. somebody that's like you know. Sexy. I don't know. Like, I just don't have to explain. Like, I don't know. I've hooked up with all types of different people. So I just don't have, like, a way to pinpoint it. But if I find the person attractive, I find them attractive. So, like, for instance, would I have sex with Vinny? Probably. But I'd have sex with Vinny regardless. Mm. He's Vinny. Mm. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, I feel, well, I feel like whenever I, whenever I say that, people always ask me that question. And I literally every time say I don't have a type. It's just a vibe, I, but man. I, like, I don't. Yeah. Like, I don't. People, people... Don't seem to believe me when I say that for some reason, but are you saying white girls? No, I don't have one. If they if they are literally like what you said, if they're fucking, straight teeth is actually something that's like that puts it. Up there. I've never had braces. Cool, that's good. That's good. Wow, you might want to get some. Vinny, I know you ain't talking. Don't let me do you in, little bitch. <laughs> and remember, you sure, remember have you seen you me before braces? Then you have braces and your teeth were still crooked after you got the braces off? Oh, That's because oh, I didn't oh, wear my oh, retainer. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, oh, then. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. That was okay. okay. Damn. Um, you don't want to... That was so hot. I love it when he screams at me. F*** my God. I'm literally going to wash his back and f***ing play with my coochie. All right. It's time for our next segment. We're playing Fruit or Dare. This is a new segment that I've never played, but basically, if he doesn't want to answer a question, Vinny's going to feed me a grape. Let's oh, get to great. it. great. Have you ever cheated on someone? No, I have not. I've never dated anybody, so no, I've never cheated on anybody. That's good. That's good. What's a secret you've never told anyone? Hmm. I used to eat dirt when I was a kid. Oh, my God. And I had, like, God. really uh, specific <laughs> types okay. of dirt that I like to eat. It was, like, this red dirt that was just always in my yard. Did you go to, like, a like a grocery store and get, like, fucking, like that dirt for, like, the garden? and like No, not soil. Dirt? I have clash. Like, no, I'm saying, like, did you did you just go outside and grab nature? Just straight from the ground, yeah, or did like, you go like grab dirt, packaged dirt? But, but dirt. I, it was also it was like 
Was it mixed with semen? I don't know. It was like this red, hard Why would dirt. it be mixed with semen? I don't know. I said semen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you've been, you've, been talking, you've been talking about other shit so you much know, that I thought- You know, your freak ass has been thinking about fucking me since we got on set. Yeah, I've been, talk, I've been thinking about semen this whole time. I just had to get it out at some point. If you had to get back with an ex, who would you choose? Give me a grape. Okay. I'm going to feed you a grape. I'm going to feed you a grape. You're you feeding me the grape? Yeah. She feed me the grape. Yeah. All right. Give me the grape. Lean in. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> Go on. Eat it. <laughs> What's the largest age gap between you and someone you hooked up with? I'm a black person to play this game with because I'm going to answer every question. Uh, 10 years. How old are you? 25. Well, yeah, by the time this airs, I'll be 25. Yeah. You hooked up with them when you were 25? No. So how old were you? I was 19. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't made smart choices, but it was a canon event. Can't interfere. Every okay. every young girl, is, you know, you know how it goes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's what's the largest age gap you've ever been with? I feel like you fucked a milf. Yeah. Really? Mm. How was it? I miss you, Martha. He's lying. <laughs> Martha. Yeah, Martha. No, maybe I would, I would believe it if you I said like I'd... Catherine. Yeah. No. I feel like every Catherine has a kid. Catherine. Mm-hmm. Mm. Somebody take these away from me. I'll eat the whole bowl. I'll take them. <laughs> Give that to me. Uh, who's the most exciting person that slid into your DMs? I would like to go through your DMs for like a minute. There's probably mm. some juice in there. I'll show you, but I'm gonna feed. I'll, I'm gonna feed. I'm not gonna say it out loud. I'm gonna feed you a grape. Okay. You didn't uh, ask me the question. But me, okay, no, no, no. It's fine. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Oh my god, I'm so wet right now. Is this a podcast or a porno? <laughs> Have you ever been caught in the act? No, funny story. My best friend is over there again. <laughs> okay, she's she was staying with me one time mm. back in my college days, and um, yeah. I wanted this guy wanted to come over and f me, so I made her like squat behind the kitchen counter so he couldn't see her when he walked in, and she was there the whole time though. And then she, and then she, it was dark. We had the lights off. She was just sitting in the dark for like what an hour and a half. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, behind, still behind the kitchen counter, like the whole I don't know time. How long she was behind the kitchen counter. You were back there the whole time. Oh my. F Good yeah, and she just had it with you. You had your earphones in, right? No, I didn't even have my phone. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you call a team player. Uh, but I mean, but yeah, she didn't catch any. You're a real yet. good friend. Yeah, she is, man. Oh my god. She is. She's a great friend. But yeah, that's the closest I've ever had to like somebody walking in on me. But I also have a really freaky friend group, so I've yeah, whatever. I'm not gonna get into it. Anyways, but no. Friend group, a whole ass freaky friend group. Yeah, the freaky like we take like group trips and like. Almost an orgy happens every single time. All right. Also, those same freaky friends are coming in this weekend for my birthday, so it's going to be an interesting time. And we're renting a yacht, and anytime we're around a bottle of water, somebody's top is off. So that's a little weird fun fact. Okay. Ooh, have you ever faked an orgasm? Have you ever did a, what's it called? Uh, the magician? Yeah. You ever did that? You really have? Yes. I hope you're not proud of this, Benny. No, I'm not. So did that girl no, dad I have no think? Clue what that is. You don't know what a magician is? No, it's a magician. It's when you're fucking a girl and you spit on her back and pretend like you can't. It's called a magician. Okay, yeah, no, I have not done that. Mm. You shouldn't agree to things you don't know what the definition of things are. I just, I don't know. I like doing that though. I like being like spitting yeah. on backs or just pretending no. you know. Oh, okay. No, <laughs> I love just spitting on backs. That's it though. Like they know I'm spitting on their back. Yeah. Like I ask them, I'm just like, hey, can I spit on your back? They're like, oh yeah, of course. And I, spit I feel on like back. people let you spit on their grandma, Vinny. Well, I'll let you spit on mom. No, grandmas let me spit on them. Like that, people don't let me spit on my grandmas. Grandmas just want me to spit on them. All right. Some anyways, freaky ass that, grandmas in California. And you're a freaky ass little boy. Um, you're not little anymore though. You're 21. So this is allowed. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's time for my favorite segment of all time, which you've all been waiting for. <laughs> it's time for how big. Is it the game where I guess my guest star's penis size and they tell me if it's correct? Okay, and today, look at the tray. Here's a tray. Oh my What the fuck is that thing? <laughs> I don't know what half these things are. Oh, it's a star fruit. So I, is this a gourd or is this squash? Papaya. Are we this, going width too or are we just no, going No, like, no. Just, so in front right. of me, I have a papaya, a very large cucumber, a very long and slightly curved to the right eggplant. Oh, we have the banana. Look at it. He's, he's just eager as you want me to touch that little dick so bad. <laughs> Anyways, we got a banana. And then what is this? Ginger? Oh, turnip. Turn up. Turn up. Turn up. Turn up. Turn up. 
And then we have a star fruit, and then I don't know what the f this is. That's something that's it's like gum that and, got and, stuck anyway, in Anyway, let's get rug. to meat and potatoes. Now, Vinny, you probably thought I was gonna like automatically say the cucumber or babes. I know you're not that big. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna gas you up because I know you think I was gonna pull out the cucumber, but I'm I take my detective job very fing seriously, and I know for a fact it's the banana. Now you tell me what is most accurate to your. Are we penis. going? Are we going width too? Yeah, or? width. Like, what? What do you think is more accurate representation of your penis? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I feel like there's a mix of a few things. Wait, 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 wait. If there's a mix, if there's a mix, let me go again. If there's a mix, let me go again. Okay. Okay. So I will say the girth of the cucumber, but the length of the banana. You're not. You're not this long. I refuse to believe it. Um, but I think you probably, when you get real hard, I think you probably are this thick. You said I, you said what? The girth of the cucumber <laughs> and the length of the banana. The, what'd you say after that? I feel like when you get real hard, you probably get as thick as the cucumber. <laughs> Am I wrong? Of course no. not. Because we know I'm, I'm, I'm actually at this game, I'm 100% success rate. Right, you're, you're close-ish. I feel like there's nothing else. <laughs> you there's nothing else. Wait, do you, like, do, you, do you curve slightly to the right or left? <laughs> how do you? How does she know that he curves? Come on, guys. I'm telling you, I'm good at my job, man. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Vincent, which one is it? Come on, man. Bro. This thing's heavy. My wrist hurt. <laughs> yeah, let me, I'll hold it. Okay, I'll okay. hold it. I just need a, I need a second. Okay. Let's do process of elimination. We know it's not this. Oh, hell no. Oh, is it? You're Vinny. B, stop lying. Your dick ain't this big. I just said, oh, hell no. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think you said, oh, well. The mm. length of the turnip? I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know why I said that's not, I'm sorry, Vinny. I apologize. <laughs> Man, my, my assistant's here to <laughs> like. She's no. she's been curious too. You don't think she's 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 definitely thought yeah. about it. <laughs> My fault. I'll be quiet. Dude. Vinny, you knew you were gonna play this game. I Come know. on. Answer. It answer. Sounded... answer. 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 Wait, so I'd you say the you... length of the Vincent, yes, that was our last game, and unfortunately, that is all the time that we have today together. I know that you're gonna fall to your knees and cry after this, but you'll see me again when I come over to your house after this. Okay. Um, but do you tell the people what you have going on and where they can find Vinny Hacker? You can find me at, uh, you just look up Vinny Hacker anywhere. Um, mm -hmm. Also, apparently, now I'm gonna be dropping an OnlyFans soon, thanks to Fanita. Yep. Um, and I will be posting And you guys pics. are welcome. Um, but hey, you guys are gonna have to pay a lot of money because okay. I need my bag, and that's facts. Uh, I just want to get a bunch of thank yous in the comments for Fanita doing what she does best. I got mm. y'all the inside scoop on Vinny Hacker's sex life. We found out that he loves eating ass with a fork and knife and a napkin wrapped around his neck. We love. We learned that he loves sucking toes and licking the bottom of feet. Okay. Well, we learned a lot about Vinny, and you guys owe me your life. Uh, it's your been me. Life. <laughs> it's me. It's Fanita. You guys know where to find me. Make sure you go check out my other episodes that I have linked at the Pass Your Bedtime YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and comment your favorite part about this episode. Was it my tits again, or was it the fact that I had Vinny Hacker? Like, come my on. Tits. Or was it his big old dick that we learned is the size of a Are you kidding me? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in for another fantastic episode with your fantastic host, Fanita. Um, and if you want to get inside my business and ask me anything, because I know you guys are very curious about my life because I'm sexy, you can call me at my dedicated fan line at 626-514-0046. Vinny, anything else you want to say? Uh... No, I think I think we're good. Thank you for having me. I of course, Vinny. It. I was actually really, really, really glad you pitied me enough to come on the show. Of course. Yeah, I'm using him for clout, clearly. Do you need me to take my shirt off or anything? That would run it? the views up. Help a black woman I'll just send, out. I'll Don't just you send like a, black I'll women? just send a video later. Okay, bet. Of me just twerking. That I would love that. Ass naked. Oh, yeah, I want to see the cheeks clap. Well, you heard it here first. Uh, Vinny has a big old voluptuous ass that claps, and so do I. And I can make it clap on that. All right, guys. <laughs> Bye.